Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, Stanislav. How are you? Uh, it, it's, it's okay. Stressed or okay? Uh, a little. A little. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, there are also five minutes for your presentation and it starts now. Okay. Thank you. So, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Stanislav Landowski and uh, I'm very happy to talk to you today. So, uh, let me um, tell you more about myself by... Uh, by sharing you my presentation. Okay, uh, can you see it? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, I attend Staszic High School in Warsaw, a uh, mathematics class, uh, where we have uh, mathematical uh, lessons uh, with uh, lecturers from uh, some universities. And I find it very interesting because it helps me develop my hobby. Also, we extend other uh, subjects like physics and informatics. So I think this very uh, like ongoing topics and important in uh, develop in world development. Uh, a very important things for me were science camps, and I attended a few. Uh, the most like important, which had the most impact on my life, was uh, Obus Naukowy Politechniki Warszawskie uh, after seventh uh, class of primary school. I met a lot of people there because generally I live in a countryside and uh, I didn't have much contact with uh, people interested in these topics. And uh, it was a place where I met a lot of them. They also told me about the Staffords High School and I decided to try to apply there. And also they told me about uh, Mathematical Junior, Olymp uh, Junior Olympiad and I also decided to like, try to, in to compete in it. Mm. Also, I attended in other camps like Mat Camp or uh, WWI, uh, and I'm still attending uh, those every year because I find them very interesting, and uh, it is a place for me where I can meet a lot of uh, new people and uh, learn something more. Mm. So when it comes to my scientific light, uh, I was interested in in science from. Uh, as far as as far as I can remember, uh, as an example, when I was very young, I always uh, watched a lot of videos about astronomy and cosmology. And when I uh, was able to talk to some person who knew a lot about it, uh, I always uh, asked the questions, and I very much enjoyed uh, their answers. Mm, so when I grew up a little, I decided to learn something uh, more in these topics. And uh, uh, to today's uh, to these days, um, my very hobby is uh, electronics, and uh, I started learning it about uh, sixth class in the primary school, uh, and uh, I use that knowledge to automate my house and uh, allow it to run more efficiently. And also, I built some. I experimented with some Tesla coils or radio transmitters, uh, and it was very funny for me. Uh, and I enjoyed it a lot. Mm. So, uh, as I said uh, on the previous slide, uh, after the uh, after attending Obus Naukowy Polytechniki Warszawskie, I decided to compete in the Polish Junior uh, Mathematical Olympiad. That's why after returning from it, I started uh, learning a lot about maths and also about other subjects like physics and chemistry. And at the end of the, the year, at the end, um, at the end of the primary school, I was a laureate of the Polish Junior Mathematical Olympiad, a laureate of the physics competition, where I scored the maximum number of points, uh, and the finalist of the chemistry competition. And I also participate in the children's found, and uh, I'm still learning uh, to Olympiad of brain knowledge, because like, uh, it is uh, also my hobby now, and I find it very interesting. Mm. When it comes to other uh, like uh, subjects uh, I'm learning, uh, I love biology, but I'm not like attending Oly Olympiads any anymore because mm, other things keep me busy currently. So I decided to uh, stop attending Olympiads after uh, graduating to the high school. Uh, so uh, also. A very important thing which changed my character, my character and personality was 
uh, the change of uh, the schools. Uh, it had a big impact on my life mm -hmm. and I started uh, engaging in uh, social uh, events like I volunteered at uh, some I volunteered and helped organize uh, some Olympics uh, Olympics uh, uh, in mathematics in informatics for juniors or in my school I helped to organize a chess tournament or a, a, a musical concert. Also, uh, I I sometimes had a presentation, additional presentation uh, on the lessons or for, for the school about some chemistry or biology, which I find very interesting and, and it helps me develop and uh, like learn more about it while also it helps me to uh, share this knowledge to others and uh, like select the things which are, I think, most interesting, interesting and have uh, a big impact on our life. Like, uh, co caffeine usage, let's say. And also, I am very happy when I can help someone learn something about uh, other about something I'm very good at. Uh, as an example, ele is electronics. Uh, um, Stanislav, I'm afraid uh, already 40 seconds uh, of the time, so please uh, close okay. up your presentation. Half a minute, okay? So I am very glad when I can help them. And my current projects, uh, because they keep me busy now, are about cryptography and cybersecurity, and I'm planning to organize some competition in cybersecurity. So I am. Uh, I hope you will hear about it soon. I'm also in, interested in applying mathematics to like algorithmic trading of cryptocurrencies or stocks, and uh, I'm also um, managing uh, development of social application. Uh, also, I engage in sports because I find them very interesting. I have few achievements in those. Stanislav, and... I'm afraid we need to uh, okay, okay. we need to finish uh, to to have the equal uh, environment for everyone. So now okay. it's time for the questions. Um, Krzysiek, if you can uh, can start, maybe. <clears throat> I'm interested very much, uh, Stan. What are your hobbies? And why? And which one is your preferred? Okay. One? So generally, uh, when I switched to projects from Olympiads, I became very interested in uh, businesses and uh, economics because I think they like they keep our world running and they're a very important factor in its development. And also, uh, it is like every hobby I had before uh, was uh, like the best one uh, for... Uh, for me for like a half a year and uh, every such a hobby uh, was replaced by another one and currently I am in that business for let's say for a around uh, one year two years and uh, <laughs> replaced by any others and uh, from the previous ones it was like electronics chemistry and neurology uh, programming but in the business I am able to like uh, combine every of those use my practically every ability I have and I, everything I learned. Uh, and I think it's like the most, the best for me because mm, I feel the best uh, in this and uh, self-motivated. Uh, and I, I think I can achieve uh, the most in uh, this field. Mm, thank you. Um, how can we protect mankind from AI, Stanislav? Okay, so I think... Uh, that the general the AI itself can protect uh, from the AI because like uh, you can have a lot of uh, separate AIs. Also, other thing I, uh, is that people will have to like self-educate and uh, not trust everything we see on the web. Like as, the same uh, as with cybersecurity, we have to be aware that everything we use have uh, many pros and cons. And uh, being aware of uh, those uh, cons is very important. So I think that educating other people and uh, allowing them to learn more about what uh, what is really behind that all you know application and uh, web service is very important. Uh, so I think it is the most important factor. And generally, uh, when you look up uh, to the history, it was practically always uh, a, like human um, human factor which led to some disaster and the te uh, technology. Okay, thank you. What's your plan to share your experience at Silicon Valley if you get there with your society? Uh, you mean in the Silicon Valley or after returning from it? After returning. Okay, so the first thing I would do is to 
uh, organize uh, with other participants from my school to organize uh, a lecture about about it, where where every every of us would uh, talk about um, what we experienced there, uh, about our personal uh, reception of that, and uh, I would be very happy to tell others and to uh, like engage uh, them in this because. Uh, like somebody told me about the Queen Hedwig scholarship a year ago, and uh, this is this is why I got interested in this. So I would be very happy to to do the same and interest other people uh, in it because I think I know a few people who are worthy uh, attending to it, but uh, still don't know or are not convinced to do that. Okay, thank you, Krzysztof. Uh, okay, you describe or you said. Uh that you had some experience in game dev industry yes uh, so can you can you describe your uh, valuable ex um, achievement your success okay so generally uh, we did some game uh, about uh, history and geography uh, with uh, my classmates and uh, the game itself itself wasn't really a big success but uh, uh, like uh, this guy, which I have uh, a saying here, uh, Jim Ron has also other saying that says it is not about uh, the thing you, you do, but about uh, what it makes of you after doing something. And the same, I learned a lot about the game development, how to manage people, how to motivate them, how to uh, give them some tasks. And uh, for like for myself, from like my own experience, I learned a lot and uh, I became interested in uh, network protocols and uh, development of those. And also uh, after, like when, when we finished that project, I started uh, another project and I had uh, a, a knowledge which allowed me to run those projects uh, faster and uh, cleaner. The workflow was very uh, much cleaner and uh, faster than Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now it's time for feedback. Krzysiek, would you like to start? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> uh, Stan, you got... Uh, your English is on a very good level. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, I liked uh, how you handled uh, three questions. I got a slight impression, but it could be my impression, that during uh, your presentation you was uh, reading a bit uh, <clears throat> a text uh, just displayed in front of you, but uh, <clears throat> could be my impression only. <clears throat> and uh, what I could say, uh, you got impressive achievements in uh, scientist fields, uh, math, physics, even chemistry. So that's what I liked very much. Thank you. Stash it is a good, <laughs> good place to develop that sort of skills. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Krzysztof? Uh, yes, I am impressed by your uh, a number of activities in different areas, specifically in the science space. Um, so it's really, really impressed. Uh, uh, regarding the, mm, the presentation itself, uh, maybe slight comment that it might be focused. If you present, for example, a number of photos, uh, that was one of the slide with the um, social um, things, there are a number of photos. Uh, I would focus on few only, maybe pick up two or three, and really, let's say, gave them the impression that, okay, this is the area I'm focusing on, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a smart, slight comment. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sharing the, the thoughts of uh, Krzysztof and Krzysiek. Uh, very impressive uh, CV, if, if we may say. Um, but also exactly what Krzysztof said, that uh, having so big list of, of, of things you wanted to share, it would be useful to pick up those, the, the most important. And this is the reason why you basically exceeded the time um, and it would be important to, to kind of uh, do the re rehearsal before uh, to, to be in time um, and then pick up those things which, uh, which, in your opinion, are the most important. Okay, thank you. Um, Stanislav, 
thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, good luck in the contest. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, have a good afternoon.